James Webb Telescope found the oldest galaxy ever seen by mankind. It has always been a burning desire of mankind to know everything about the history of celestial bodies, the origin of ancient star clusters, and the existence of all cosmic systems of the universe. NASA, in collaboration with other organizations, has been trying to go beyond deep space through its high-tech infrared observatory telescope to track down the information of the cosmos back in time. Hence, the sighting of one of the oldest galaxies during a survey was a major breakthrough for astronomers, as it takes science closer to the discovery of the universe's origin. The Discovery Yes, you heard that right. James Webb Telescope has once again stunned scientists and astrophysicists by discovering a galaxy that is 13.5 billion light years away from Earth. This discovery was made in July of 2022, just a week after JWST made the Great Glass V13 galaxy discovery that dated back 300 million years after the Big Bang. Soon after the scientists assumed that GV13 would be the oldest galaxy ever, JWST spotted another galaxy in the redshift region that was even older than GV13. The telescope captured a faded red spherical image of a galaxy that, according to the redshift calculation, was assumed to be formed 235 million years after the Big Bang. Scientists believe that if James Webb can find such an old galaxy in months, then it's just a matter of time till we find more of these galaxies that were formed with the Big Bang. Hello and welcome back to the channel, fellas. Before we move on to the great James Webb Telescope discovery, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates. You must be wondering how the James Webb Telescope sighted a galaxy back in time, what tells it tells about the redshift zone, and most importantly, what the scientists of NASA say about this astounding discovery. Well, let's dive in to find out. The concept of time travel and JWST imaging. Before we get into the oldest galaxy discovery, let's first understand how the James Webb Telescope sights these ancient cosmic systems. I mean, how can a telescope tell that this galaxy is 13 billion years old? Well, for starters, the telescope does not see back in time. What it sees is the light. The light reaches us a billion years later than it was initially emitted, but how? Let us explain the phenomenon. To see a celestial body, we need the sunlight to reach the body and light it up. And it's a proven fact that the light travels 300,000 kilometers in one second. And the distance of the moon from the Earth is a bit more than that, which is around 384,400 kilometers. If the speed of light per second is 300,000 kilometers, then to cover a distance of 384,400 kilometers, it would require more than a second to reach the moon. So, when we see the moon through a telescope, we can only see the moon after the sun hits the surface. So, the present image that we see on the moon is what it was a second ago. When we dive into space, we see hundreds of lights that were produced millions of years ago. According to Chris Lintott, a British physicist, the Earth has been bathed in lights reaching it its entire life, from various distant galaxies, among which some are even from the time when the Earth was just a few million years old. Now, when we have telescopes like James Webb, we can easily detect and capture those lights and tell how old they probably are and the source that it has come from. This is how the Sears 93316 was discovered. Insights into the Discovery The fun fact about this discovery was that this galaxy was found accidentally. Yes, the astonishing image of Sears 93316 was taken during the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, also known as Sears which was researching a wide field in deep space. While the scientists were trying to gather a list of more than 50 distant galaxies in deep space, they found this shiny surface that the infrared telescope could easily capture. This is why the galaxy was named after Sears. The paper that had the discovery outlined was posted on the 26th of July of 2022, and the paper clearly showed that the galaxy had a record-breaking redshift of 16.7, which is way far from any galaxy ever discovered by mankind. However, the finding is not been peer-reviewed yet, and spectroscopy is yet to be done to confirm the wavelength of the lights and the exact distance of the body. Through spectroscopy, the astronomers will also determine the galaxy's chemical composition, the exact size, and the temperature on the surface. Initial Phases of Research into the JWST This discovery sure made NASA realize how badly they needed a telescope that could dive within the infrared wavelength. Before the James Webb Telescope, NASA only had the Hubble Telescope, which served for 30 long years. However, the main drawback with the Hubble wasn't the deteriorating parts, but its vision, which was limited to ultraviolet wavelengths. Therefore, the James Webb Telescope was created with NIR or Near Infrared Cam that could capture wavelengths beyond Hubble's technical capacity. 
The JWC was launched in December of 2021, and it took the telescope six months to reach its destination in L2, which was 1.5 million kilometers distant from our planet. The reason behind the distance was the telescope needed shade from all the light sources like Sun, Earth, or Moon. So it was placed in the Lagrange region away from Earth's orbit. Just in a few days, this powerful telescope started doing wonders. It shows images of exoplanets, stars, black holes, and even Jupiter's ring. But all the efforts of NASA paid off when scientists were able to capture the morning star Arendelle, which was a star's image of 900 million years ago. So when scientists could capture stars this old, they started looking for galaxies that could tell the tale of time. And that's when Sears 93316 was spotted. Mission of JWST the team of astronomers could not believe the fact that JWST was such a success. The telescope had to look for the ancient galaxies that were ever created after the Big Bang explosion, their evolution, and the formation of all the planetary systems and the stars. And somehow, the telescope achieved a great victory in the first few months. Through JWST, astrophysicists basically wanted to get more and more information on the first stars and galaxies to see what they're made of and how they were formed. According to scientists, these old galaxies were filled with generous amounts of helium and hydrogen, but that's just a theory until proven. The Redshift Region The region of Sears 93316 Though one can't deny the fact that the first few images by JWST have left everyone in shock as right after its launch, the telescope is getting data from the Redshift region, which was considered impossible to find. Dr. Rebecca Buller, who is an ERF studying the formation of galaxies, explained in one of her lectures that, right after the Big Bang, the universe entered an era that was called Dark Ages, as there were no stars formed back then. Though the universe has been constantly changing since then, but scientists believe that galaxies like Sears and GZ13 were formed in that era. Buller further added that finding galaxies like Sears 93316 can be a ray of hope that we can find more data on when and how the first stars and galaxies were formed. Why was the image red? Why is Sears 93316 in the red region? The astounding fact about the image wasn't the distance of the galaxy from Earth, but the fact that the telescope that is so powerful that it can even sight a honeybee on the moon and could clearly capture the farthest star Arendelle could only capture a smudgy image of this galaxy. If you're wondering why the images were red and blurry, what exactly is the redshift region and why was it impossible to reach? Well, then this might blow your mind. To begin with, redshift is the term that is used by astronomers to determine the distance between a galaxy to Earth. The image that was seen had a red spherical red blurred spot, but the galaxy isn't really red. The Doppler Effect Explanation to Red Distant Waves You must have noticed how sound travels in daily life. When the source of sound moves away, the frequency of sound gets lower and the sound waves get stretched. But when the source comes near, the frequency of sound gets higher and the sound waves are compressed. Similarly, light travels in waves as well, but with one small difference. Light waves have different colors for different wavelengths. The blue and violet lights have comparatively shorter wavelengths, but when it comes to red light, the wavelength is quite long. This is why the objects that are far, far away from Earth are mostly red shifted, but the objects that are near are mostly blue shifted. This is known as the Doppler effect. So, if we measure the amount of redshift of galaxies, we can easily predict how far it is from Earth. The redshift is denoted by Z in values. If the redshift value is 1, then light has supposedly traveled 7.7 .7 billion years. And in the case of Sears 93316, the redshift is 16.7, which means the light has been traveling for 35 billion light years. So, it's evident that Sears 93316 is highly redshifted, which is why the image that we got through JWST was a blurred image. As whenever we dive into the deep space's redshift zone due to the infrared waves, the light will appear red. According to the law of Hubble's, the farther a galaxy is, the faster it is going away from Earth and the more redshifted it will be. However, by creating such a powerful infrared telescope, we can easily detect more objects and galaxies in the redshift region. NASA is hopeful that in the upcoming research, the JWST will find older galaxies and the throne of oldest will be snatched away from Sears 93316. That's all the time we had for Sears. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this astounding discovery and what you think NASA will find next.